Oh, just. I can't hear you, my guy. I'm sorry. Swing so fast, Jesus. Main lobby, west social area, yes, east social area, morgue, rooms. I don't really like morgues. This is a big, huge cross here. That's great. Well, I guess we're moving on, moving forward. Hello. Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened. Only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you drop your problems off and hope they disappeared. Yeah, I highly doubt that they just disappeared. Are these doors open? Really? Just moving forward, I guess, huh? Ooh, a book. I wonder what this book could do. Oh, God. Like dark spooky places. This is where the hundred hallway. Gosh, bro, you talk so much. We heard that the patients pre nineteen twenty actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed twenty patients in need of attention, and by the end, a hundred and fifty patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, slaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. The chemistry of depression. Oh man, that sounds so. What the hell? Why is there a neighbor right? I don't know if I want to step right there yet. Hang on. It's telling me to go right here. All right, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of Saint Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Yeah, just be nice, please. Okay, play that back. Let us know that you're here. Uh, nothing. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, boy. Alright, alright, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you're here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. All right, let's try one more spot. Uh, I'm not ready for this. Oh no, dude. Yeah, see, why would you do that, man?
want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Where's the morgue hallway? Oh, boy. Okay, of the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the East Social Area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who were deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. Oh, great. This is the entrance to patient cell 200 through 219. Eh, we're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones oh, who no. wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked, too. Hmm. Let's just start the ceremony. Ceremony? Why the hell are we doing a ceremony, dude? Spirit what the fuck? Oh, uh, 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 no, 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 yeah, no, 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 dude, I'm good, I'm good, dude, where, where, where? Don't just stand there, go, go check it out. Yeah, dude, you don't care if I die, do you? Oh my god, dude. Oh no, no, fuck this, dude. Open some door, please. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, oh, oh. Oh fuck no! Oh fuck! Oh, what the? The bed flipped up. Why? Why'd you do that, bro? What? What's going on? Confused. Um. Oh fuck now, dude. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, see. There's a person here. Uh, I think you guys forgot one person to take uh, out of here. Oh, great. Just turn towards me real fast. Go ahead. Get it done with. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm good. Don't die. Death run. Die. No eyes. Peeper. Die. No eyes. Yeah, can I get out of here? Oh my god, dude. Alright, get out of this hallway and, and take a take your second right. Door's locked, damn it, damn it. Oh, okay, there's a, there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So so go up the staircase. Yeah, this I don't like this. Five hundred bucks is not worth this, dude. What the, dude? Crap. Uh, okay, we need to let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. Yeah, what the fuck? It doesn't even have a basement. What, the, what? What is going on? I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. <laughs> Who's saying no? Oh no, dude. This, I, I'm not fucking out of this. This is this is not okay. Can I just? Yeah, I'm gonna keep. Okay. Well, I guess I have to go this way. Surgery. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. None of these doors open. All right. Well, fuck it. I guess. Oh my god, dude. 
Ray. Oh! oh my god, Jesus. Oh my god. Fuck you, dude. It made me actually jump. If I'm gonna die, just kill me. Oh, don't see. No eyes. What is going on? Oh! Oh my god, Jesus. You fucking... Just leave me alone, please. Oh god, dude. Well, there's eyeballs there. Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kinda hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the, there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man. And uh, he would kinda haunt this patient all throughout the day. Aggressively got worse, but at night he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free, he was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary, and it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight, too. The pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, oh, get the God. hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Damn flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. Oh, really? Oh, fuck. Bro, come on. Let me out of here. Oh. Ah, oh, that scared me. Oh, just I can't hear you, my guy. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck it, fuck it, whatever. Holy crap, man. I can't believe you just did that. You freaking gouged your eyes out with a scalpel. Are you all right? I know you're not. I Holy crap. All right, all right, we're, we're, we're getting a picture from your camera. Bad news is it's pitch black. There, there's no light. Your room, there's nothing I can see. The flashlight went out, and, and we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. I'm, hell no. Look. Uh, He's just gonna leave me in here. I'm, if you can't feel anything, I, I'm sorry. But we're not coming. I'm sorry, man. Fuck you, man. I have to go. I'm sorry. Dude just left me to die blind. How could he do that? <laughs>